Hello, I've come out here today to tell you a story. So earlier this year, me and my friend Lewis decided to cycle from Rome to England. It was a thousand miles of mountains and cities and shenanigans. Let me take you to where it all began. Hello, what's up guys? <laughs> this is Ed Hack, this is Lewis. What's up? We're gonna fly out to Italy with these bikes. We've just had to like open the boxes to deflate the tires. Um, and now we're doing them back up with cellar tape. Cellar tape, that's what you need in life. Our tent is made of cellar tape. Okay guys, we've made it to Rome. I've got some crazy news to tell you. That crazy news is that for this night, we've already found a place to stay. Now we just had to wait for the bikes. This might be the bikes. No. Oh, it's not the bike again. Oh, oh. bike! So we got the bike safe and sound, but how did we get a place to stay? Well, we met this guy. In fact, you can, he's, he's, you can see him over there. You can see him in the green top. And he's invited us to stay at his house, which is incredible. We were going to sleep in the airport tonight. We met him in England. We met him, yeah, we met, him, we met him in England. He's this guy and his family. Okay, so we've got to squeeze all of this. This guy's family and these. Yeah, this is what the car looks like. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the boxes in the back there. Non ci ferma, non ci ferma nessuno, dai. Thank you so much, kind sir. Nice. Thank you. Go, go. I can't even see you, mate. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Okay, so we're a bit further out of room. These, uh, these guys are still driving us. So we made it back to their house. Get into it, come on. Have a wave. Have a wave. Good morning. Look at this. Look at this. That's crazy. You guys are awesome. Hello, Mr. Park. These amazing people have fed us, watered us, had a laugh with us last night. Now we're going to go to Rome, and life's going to be great. <laughs> so we made it to Rome, and then we were like, oh man, this is actually happening. And then we were like, Oh man, this is actually happening! Oh, it's like 35 degrees in Rome right now. We can't find any sun cream anywhere, so we're gonna fry like a crisp. Like a crisp! As you'd expect, Rome is full of tourists. And also full of people trying to take advantage of tourists. We actually got, well, scammed by this one guy dressed in Roman armour. He was taking pictures with us, he was all friendly, and then like, at the end of it, it just goes, 10 euros. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. We've ah. stolen this guy's hat. Oh. Ah, <laughs> Hello. Ah. Dude, this place is crazy. We did pay him a little bit, but oh well, you know. We explored the city, took some cool photos, and then went back to the train station. This is 30, 30 platforms. You guys have like four? Yeah, London has like four? Ten? 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 Four. Maybe? I don't know. It, like many. Look how long that is. England, step up your game! Okay, so we're back at the house now. We think we know this guy's name. So we're gonna just go and press this button. Ooh. This guy was a guy called Danilo. He was a legend and he let us stay with his family for an extra night. This helped us get situated and ready for the cycle tomorrow. It's going to be a shame leaving these guys tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be so sad. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's so hard. Oh, yeah. I was after that. I'm not Greek, but he's local, he's uh, Etruscan. How old is this one? Uh, 400 before. 400 before Christ. Four, five, four hundred. So that's 2,500 years old. Danilo, if you watch this, thank you so much. So we're just eating our final meal here before we uh, <laughs> before we head out um, up to Siena. Siena. Yeah. Okay, we're about to leave this place. Um, these guys have been amazing. They've held us up for two nights. We've we've managed to get actually uh, situated and started, even though Lewis's tire broke already. Uh, we have no more replacements. Who let the cycling begin? Whoosh. We actually felt like part of their family and didn't want to leave but we had to sit off into the Italian wilderness. This was our first day camping and we were wild camping. We planned to wild camp for the whole trip, so we just had to find somewhere nice and quiet and out of the way. Thankfully this night was quite easy. The tent is set up. 
think we're going to end up going to that lake. Marta, there's a lake here, yes. And up to Acta Prendente. Okay, so good morning. I don't know if you can see, but the plants have blossomed whilst we've been sleeping. Also, I was just going to show you the bike lock situation. We've locked them to this tree. It's not even a tree. Mate, don't eat all of that. So this is when our first major shenanigan happened. We set off to that lake and it started raining, like tropical raining. So we took shelter in this little shop closet thing. What is there to do? Yeah, what is there to do? so we're just gonna chill for a bit and hope that it passes over. Suddenly, shenanigans. Okay. okay, so the man that owns this storage cupboard has just come and brought us some wine. We don't know what he's talking about. He is, he's the most Italian guy I've ever met. And he's just brought us some wine to dip this bread in. My goodness, what is going on? What is happening, man? This is Oh, crazy. is it good? Is it good? Let's, let's try it. It was disgusting. The wine is so bitter, it's... So Lewis is going to take one for the team and just drink the whole thing. Oh, go, 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 go. Mate, if he pours you another one... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't let Lewis suffer on his own. What is this guy giving us? <laughs> so just as we decide to leave, the guy comes back. What's going on? <laughs> more. <laughs> more? I'm doing more. No, I'm not playing here. Just for you. More. More. All of it. It's special. Okay. Block. Block. What's that? Don't worry. I don't. I really don't want to drink more. I mean, to be fair, he will probably never see us ever again yeah, yeah. if we leave. Go, just get our bikes done. She's going. Okay. okay. I'm drunk. <laughs> oh man, literally, it was chaos for the next five miles. Me and Lewis were just laughing on our bikes. <laughs> I don't know. Right, see you later, people. We're going up there. Me and Lewis are just having a quick stop here. Uh, I mean, it's beautiful. Stop throwing them at me. Despite the lake being beautiful, it was so windy. Okay, so we've made it to Aqua Pandante. Um, we're just going to this co-op here to stock up on some food for tonight. Um, my god, we climbed the biggest hill I've ever seen. Lewis is about to come out with a box of cereal, an Italian box of cereal. I have no idea what he's going to get, but I hope it's good. Just we've got some cool flakes. That's our breakfast sorted. Okay, this is campsite number two. This is the campsite for the night. We basically cycled for about four hours today. Six hours, I think. Yeah, we did hit some thunderstorms, some massive hills, and it was pretty windy. No, it was windy as f We're pretty happy with this, this area. So me and Lewis have just found a stream that runs next to our, our campsite over there. <laughs> Things then got pretty... Um, Oh, I'm stuck. Clean, yeah, clean. We cleaned in the river. So we were gonna find a pizza place for dinner, but instead, we're gonna eat cornflakes for dinner because we couldn't find a pizza place. Mm. Pretty top notch, eh? Top notch. We've just climbed a mountain and we're about to go through a tunnel up ahead. This is getting harder. So this was the day that we wanted to get to Siena. It was a really long and hot day, so it was really important to stay hydrated. Oh, also that tunnel was 900 meters long. We got our glasses on, we're looking like cyclists. This place is gorgeous though, seriously, it's gorgeous. Okay, so me and Lewis have just stopped at this sunflower field. And there is an enormous truck coming. It is huge. We're only 12 miles from Siena. Literally, the relief of getting to Siena was like... Like, you know when you need a massive sh Like when you get home from a long day at work. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lewis, we've made it to Siena. We are dying of hunger. But this place is so beautiful. We have found a pizza shop. Close to six.
Me and Lewis are having a beer and a pizza at this crazy, crazy plaza. Oh, the pizzas are here and they look delicious. However, we couldn't hang around long. It was getting dark and we need to find somewhere to camp. Mmm, pizza's down. To pizza. To pizza we go. Allons-y. Is that French or what? Oh, yeah. There's like these crazy flights of stairs, so we're gonna try to take the escalator. Oh my god. <laughs> See you later, mate. <laughs> See ya. This is campsite number three. So we've woken up to a puncture. Uh oh. Bike maintenance was really important over the whole trip. There were some issues we could never have planned for. Punctures were okay though. We're on our way to Pisa, my man. Pisa. We're on our way to Pisa and we've just found this. What is that? We have climbed so high up these hills. I mean, looking back on it, these hills were like nothing. We were still excited though. Also, it's just started raining, so I'm gonna have to quickly take this inside. Okay, sorry about that, back to the story. Lewis, do you think we're in the stratosphere? We are in the stratosphere. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? I think we're out of space. <laughs> I've never seen this kind of stuff. <laughs> Things actually leveled out again towards Pisa. We stopped about 20 miles out of the city to have dinner and met some Austrian people who lived in the Alps. We've just been told that the Alps are very cold, very horrible, very bumpy. What are we doing? Thanks to these two beautiful people. Oh my god, what are we doing? Oh my god, what are we doing? Yeah, now we need to find a camp because uh, it's, getting, it's getting quite dark. This night was easily the worst night of the whole trip. Okay, so we've been searching for about half an hour and uh, Lewis has just scouted out this place. Lewis, what's down there, man? Junkyard. Like a, like, um, like a junkyard. Old cars. There's like a little porter house. It's a bit sketchy, man. We set up the tent and it was like a sauna. Literally, it was like no sleeping bags, sweating, bug infested heat. It was disgusting. Me and Lewis are checking out this place. Oh my god. Lewis is going to check out what's in the cupboard over the corner. Oh, this floor, this floor is like broken, man. Right, I'm going to go this way. Lewis is going to look that way. We've just heard some. Like some rustling by the tent. Lewis, what's in there? Man, it's like five rolls of tissue. That's perfect for our ass, man. Yeah, man. I have no tissue left. <laughs> Mission? Mission! Me, I've just found some bullets. I want to get a guy, man. This is sketchy. What is this spider? Nah. We found a car as well. Oh, what is this place, man? What is this place? Ah. Uh, we live, it was a horrible night, man. It was so sweaty in there and we're getting bitten by every bug under the sun. They all seem to jump, like... Just... We did find a praying mantis there, so at least that was pretty cool. Anyway, we were really dehydrated and tired. Oh hey, me and Lewis have uh, stopped off at the supermarket because we're feeling horrible. We've got some, some food, some juice. Mmm, life is good. Mmm. <laughs> good. Yo, what a pizza! Woohoo! Now, Where's that leaning tower? All my days, I think we found it. Yeah, like we made it, man. What else can you want? What else could you want? It leans. 17 degrees of pure lean. Um, uh, no, actually it says here it's only four degrees of lean, so I was well off. We also had a mess around with some pictures, but we decided to move on quite quickly. We quite enjoyed being on the road, to be fair, like it was quite relaxing. Speaking of relaxing, then we found this place. So yeah, we just cycled through Pisa. Um, yeah, man. And now we're at a beach. <laughs> at the beach, yeah. It's about 30 kilometers long. Which yeah, is it's 33 degrees. 33, yeah, so it's... Like it's heaven, beautiful. it's heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Just over that way is the Alps. And just behind us there's a hot tub. Really. <laughs> oh yeah, this hot tub. Oh man, we were in there for like half an hour and then this woman came out and was like, 10 euro, 10 euro. Yeah, we got out but she let us off. Yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> I'm claiming it, I'm I'm claiming it. it. Claim. This place is basically California. It's just so beach, beachy. So we couldn't find a campsite but I trusted Lewis's judgment and look at what he has found us. Oh my god. 
Okay, sorry guys, I'm gonna have to end it there for this week. I simply don't have enough time to edit the whole thing in one go, so... Yeah. If you liked this video, don't forget to leave a like in the comment section and a comment in the like section. Also subscribe or I'll break your legs or something. Cool, see you in part two, here's a little preview just to get you all like hyped and stuff. Come on, find the tent. Also, quick little reminder for people that don't know, this is a channel that's about cycling a bike from England to Australia. This is only from Rome to England, so it's very different. Yeah, it's much longer to Australia, trust me. While I cycle to Australia, I'm also going to be homeless for about a year, so because of that, I'm going to try and raise £10,000 for homelessness. If you're interested in donating to that cause, links in the description. It's a really great charity, helps homeless people find stability and permanent solutions to being homeless. So yeah, check it out. On to part two.